Hey everybody, this is Dr. Daniel Choi here from North Texas Dental Surgery, Wisdom Teeth and Denture Implant Center. And I wanted to talk to you today about gum graft donor tissue, um, alloderm, stuff like that so you don't have to get tissue from the roof of your mouth for your gum graft. Um, before I do that, if you can give us a thumbs up on the video if you find the information useful and also give us a follow on our channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. All right, so if you're considering something called alloderm or gum graft donor tissue, it's basically human donor tissue. Um, alloderm originally started back when it was used uh, decades, I think like 20, 30, probably like 30 years ago. Um, basically what it was, it was used for burn victims because um, if somebody had too much um, tissue damage, um, transplanting tissue, if there was a lot of tissue that needed to be transplanted, um, basically they realized that they can use this substance or this tissue um, from human donor banks um, and be able to use that for, you know, to get transplanted tissue. But then they also realized that they can use it for gum grafts. So the really cool thing about this, using it for gum grafts, is that a lot of patients really like that idea. And it's typically for patients that are really fearful of you know using the roof of the mouth right even though using the tissue from the roof of the mouth is not that bad and i've made other videos about it and content about it but you know connective tissue grafting using the roof of the mouth is not actually not that bad it doesn't hurt that much um free genital graft yeah that procedure the, the using that tissue does hurt a little bit more um but if you're getting any of this gum grafting done that basically the bottom line is that we can use the alloderm as a you know potential source of the tissue so again if you're afraid of pain then it's a good option um uh, another reason why you would consider alloderm or human donor tissue is because if you have a lot of recession throughout your whole mouth, um, we can only have so much tissue from the roof of the mouth that we can transplant there. So I like to tell patients like typically the maximum amount of teeth that we can graft at a time is about seven or eight teeth um, because you're, again, we only have so much tissue from the roof of the mouth. But if you have a lot of teeth that you want to get grafted all at once, you want to be one and done, you don't want to see this guy like um, the you know periodontist. Um, for multiple times to get these gum grafting procedures done, then alloderm can be a potential option for you um, or the gum graft donor tissue. I, again, like I'm saying alloderm just because it's the most commonly used name associated. Um, it's like when people call Coke, like for any soda, right? So um, Coke is the biggest name soda na known. So people will call Coke sometimes. Um, and then same thing with alloderm and donor tissue. So people will just say alloderm instead of like gum graft donor tissue. But the bottom line is that, um, again, if you need to get a lot of teeth fixed all at once, then alloderm is going to be another option for you. Now, the thing I want to say back is if you want to use your own tissue for, and you had a lot of teeth that were receded, basically you could do seven to eight teeth at a time. Then you have to wait about three months for your tissue to be regenerated on the roof of the mouth. And then you could do more teeth as you can go. Again, you have to wait three months between each time you go to the roof of the mouth. All right, so what are some other reasons that we don't want to use graft tissue? Well, um, I'll tell you that you're not going to be a good candidate to use alloderm if you already have extensive amount of bone loss. So keep in mind when your gums are receding, you're also losing bone too. And we can see that on x-rays. So if you have too much bone loss happening, then it's actually not a good idea to use alloderm because you're not going to have as good of a result. Again, this alloderm is avascular, so it's, you know, not, it's not vascularized. So because of that, it is a little bit uh, more sensitive in which, like, which patients are actually really good candidates for it. Um, another reason why you don't want to use alloderm is like if your gums are super thin and so I talk about this in another video too but some people's like bone and gum can be thick some people's bone and gum can be thin if your bone and gum is too thin um, then that could be problematic to get a good result from using alloderm um, so bottom line is that I want to say one last piece of advice for using alloderm um, it is a technique sensitive product. So again, like doing a gum graft in general, like you should go see a highly skilled periodontist. Again, you want to see their before and after work. Um, using alloderm, like gum grafting is hard enough and very technique sensitive. Alloderm is even more technique sensitive because it's avascular. It doesn't have a blood supply. It's not just collected from the roof of the mouth. So because of that and how technique sensitive it is, it is very important that you find somebody that really knows what they're doing and uses the product a lot. And again, you can see their before and after photos. So that would be my final recommendation for using alloderm or any gum graft donor tissue. But hey, if that's what you want, um, then by all means, go find someone that will do that for you. Um, again, the advantages are that it's less painful. You can do a lot of teeth at once. Um, but just remember, you got to find somebody that's really good at using it. And also, you got to really know that 
um, it's going to cost more because the product costs more and then typically you want to combine M to gain with it. So it is going to typically cost you more per tooth to fix the, the recession within your mouth. All right, so hopefully you guys found that information useful. And if you guys can give me a thumbs up, that'd be greatly appreciated. Thanks.